Welcome back to SnowRunner, guys, and today we are going to be checking out one of my favorite new map projects that is now out and available on Mod.io, and that is Red Lawn Preserve by Dubs. Now, if you have been following the streams for a while now, you'll know that this is a map that we have really been watching the development of for a long time. Now, we first jumped into this map when there wasn't really even a town, there weren't really that many trails, and now the map is literally a role play friendly town there's a atv park which here's the thing saying there's a atv park isn't really doing justice to how massive this off-road park is now the entire map has custom objects custom signs custom areas there's canyons there's rivers there's all sorts of different trail systems there's mud there's rock crawling there's houses that you can pick like you know if you want to live in one house and your friend lives in another house and then you meet up in town and then you go trail riding and you tow, tow your rigs out to the trails. I could go on and on and on, but instead of doing that, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of an introduction to what Red Lawn Preserve has to offer, and also why I think it is one of the most innovative roleplay-based maps this game has seen so far. So let's fire up our scout and uh, get right into it. Now, right here, you'll see right off the bat when you spawn in, there's a, uh, there's a tour contest, essentially. And essentially what this is, is a tour of the map that you can take in order to gain some money and XP. We're not going to do that just yet, but what we're going to do right off the bat is we're going to go to the garage. Now, if you get onto the main road here, you can turn left to go to town. You can go right to go down towards the, one of the ends of the map, and you can turn left across the, across the road, or I should say go straight across the road uh, in order to get to the garage. Now, there's a couple of ways to get to the garage. You can either go through the mud pit right here, or there's a little bit of a back way that you don't necessarily have to take, but it is there if you don't necessarily want to get stuck in the mud pit with the uh, default scout that you start out with. Now, when you're in the default scout, I would probably recommend just going around, but when you're in, you know, one of your built-up trucks that's got, you know, a proper wheel and tire package, you can just blow right through that mud. Now, your trailer store is going to be out back of the garage, and your garage entry point is going to be right here. Now, once you're in the garage, I recommend getting a, a pretty good fleet put together, but for the purposes of this video, we're only going to build a couple of vehicles, so we don't spend too much time in just the garage. Now, let's go ahead and get our first pickup truck built. I may build the Baja Crew. But I'm going to look through real quick and make sure I'm not leaving anything on the table that would be really, really cool to do. So I think what I'll probably do is I will, right off the bat, go ahead and get the Lander 1000 built. Because, once again, I feel like, you know, showing this map and showing this project, you know, since it was a project that took Dubs such a long time and he put so much time into it, I really want to show it with at least one of Dubs' vehicles. Now, let's go down to the bottom here and go for one of these all-round tire setups, offline winch. Uh, we'll do the tall snorkels, bumper, rack, all that good stuff, LEDs, radio, and that should be good. So now you're going to stay outside the garage. I'm going to park you right here. And now let's go ahead and grab a pickup truck. Now, as far as what pickup truck we want for this, we want a pickup truck that has a lot of different uses, essentially. We want a pickup truck that can haul, we want a pickup truck that can trail ride, and we want a pickup truck that's essentially a good all-around scouting vehicle that, mmm, I, I, I literally, I saw the dually crew and I was like, mmm, that's definitely a intriguing proposition right there. The C2100 or the console-friendly Cat Eye is definitely a great option as well. There's also, there's quite a few different options we have in here. The Titan, uh, Frog's Raptor, there's the Gladiator. Let's see, we could also throw it in Red's F250 Den side, which we definitely are going to be diving into that a little bit later on. Uh, well, a little bit later on in the near future as well. But let's see, I'm thinking that we're actually, you know what? I think we're going to actually go for the Raptor. Now, here's the only thing about the Raptor, though, is that I don't know if the... I don't know if the four-wheeler will fit in the bed of the Raptor, and because of that, we're going to just grab a small trailer and we'll head out from there. We're going to do the Hammers suspension. We're going to throw some probably 40... Well, eh, we'll throw some 44s on there. And not too crazy of a build. We're not going to go super in-depth with this one. I will do a, probably a pintle hitch on the back. And let's throw some repair and refuel goodies in there. We'll do probably a roost bumper in the front and a recovery rack, rock sliders, shift bumper in the back. 
and I'll probably leave the stock fenders on it for now because I'm not really too concerned about those. And let's see, what do we want to... Oh, yeah, the Walker Beadlocks, bro, those look so sick. And, of course, the Bubble Dar. Now, one of the cool things about this map is the fact that as you're driving through some of these trails, obviously, you're going to get a little bit of body damage. Now, I, for one, and depending on, you know, how you feel about body damage in this game, I'm not a big fan of the body damage, but for people that are not a big fan of the body damage like myself... What Dubs has done is he has done one of the coolest things that I have seen someone do with a map like this, and that is he has put invisible repair stations all throughout the trail system. Now, what that will do is that will literally allow you to pretty much continue to drive through the trails and every once in a while just get repaired like literally every once in a while just get repaired and you'll be fine now i've been getting a lot of questions lately about the trailers that i'm using these tilt deck trailers and they are from Pogrim's trailer pack now Pogrim's trailer pack is available on all systems and i highly recommend picking it up because it's an absolutely incredible trailer pack now let's actually go ahead and activate that trailer we'll stop switch and, oh god, I don't think that's gonna be low enough. Uh, can we back this up? Because I think we're gonna need to figure out a way to- There we go. Now it's low enough. Okay, we're gonna have to reposition the lander just a tad, but that's a okay. Alright, let's get you up onto the trailer. Not bad. Alright, so get back into the Baja crew, bring the ramp down, and once it's done tilting, get you packed up. And now, let's head on out. We are in, okay, I was like, we are in four-wheel drive, right? Because here's the thing, this mud pit is no joke. And Dubs actually, when he was developing this map, he went back and forth on whether or not he wanted to have it here. And I think it's really cool that it, that it is actually here because it gives you an opportunity to test your vehicle's mud capability right outside the garage. But the other thing is, you know, you literally have that other alternate route on the other side of the garage if you want to go out without, like, without messing with the mud. Now, let's actually throw this suspension into a higher drive mode, and that way we're a little bit more level with the trailer. Now, if we could stay away from the edge of the bridge, that would be absolutely freaking awesome. Bro, look at this town! Oh, this is so sick! Wow, this is so freaking cool. God, I love it. And here's the thing, you can pick whatever house you want. You literally can pick whatever house you want. I'm gonna run my radar. Bro, Bleach's Truck Recovery, Cave Diver, Visit Trout Lake, Sniper Hunt. Let's see. Dude, there's so much going on. Whoa! Look at this. Explore the local caves. We got a little loop around up here. We got a custom gate up here. We see some access to uh, some of the first initial trails. I mean, there is so much to do on this map. It is so freaking incredible. Look at this. Yo, I am absolutely mind blown already because here's the thing welcome to red lawn love that love the town sign but here's the thing this is my first time seeing this map ever since he did all of these updates to it for the release build and so i'm literally seeing all of these things for the first time i remember this fence being here obviously when i played around with it on the live streams but wow god did he go above and beyond or or what wow absolutely or freaking what he went so above and beyond with the development of this map i'm gonna do a little bit of a lap of the town and then we're gonna turn around and we're gonna head out towards the atv park so i can show you guys where some of the trails start now it would be near impossible to cover this entire map the trailers get a little whippy on me um it would be near impossible to cover this entire map in one video and so what we're going to do is we're going to do obviously the initial overview in a video like this and then as far as the adventure stuff goes we'll be doing that in separate videos and of course the live streams now if you're not already subscribed or you don't have those notifications turned on make sure you turn them on so you're notified whenever we go live and of course when we post a new video now god there's so many houses to choose from i mean if you were setting up a role play scenario with your friends you could literally pick any single house you wanted and this is cool because here we have apartments and the fact that we have all these freaking mailboxes tells me that, like, he literally planned it out so that if you wanted to have, like, some players in houses and some players in apartments, you could totally do that. I mean, you could literally go whatever direction you wanted with this map, and it would all 
be taken care of. It would straight up all be taken care of. Get a little slippy to, down there coming down the hill, but I'm not worried about it. So now we're going to leave town and we're going to head up one of the main trails towards the ATV park. Now, the cool thing about this is that there will be a bridge building task in between us and the ATV park. But what I want to do is I mainly want to show you guys how to get there because how to get to the main start point of the ATV park is one of the most important elements of this map, in my opinion. Now, obviously, there is a ton more to go over. There's gigantic canyons, like I said before. There's caves. There's mud. There's all sorts of things to explore and way more than I could show in just one video. But again, the ATV park is one of those highlights that I really want to make sure that you guys know how to get to. So we're going to make our way onto this dirt road right here just outside of town. And this is going to... Did that thing compress weirdly? Hold on. We're going to unpack and repack. That way it kind of recenters itself. You got to do that every once in a while because if you don't, you're going to end up like with your vehicles in some awkward situations. This hill is pretty gnarly. It's definitely a lot steeper than it looks. And I suggest if you're going to bring a tow vehicle out to this map, especially if you're planning on towing two or three vehicles and you want to go, you know, up this road towards that ATV park, I kind of, wow, I got, our, uh, I got ourselves into a very weird situation just then. But I definitely recommend if you're coming out to this map with the objective of towing things, definitely give yourselves a lot of power and a lot of torque. I know that some people sometimes like to run the lower powered engines, but I recommend if you're towing on this map, uh, go for the higher power, go for the higher torque, because you're going to need it on some of the hills, especially that main hill back there. That's probably one of the steepest hills on one of the main back roads on the entire map, especially for one that you're going to be towing, because again, this is the main route to the ATV park. Man, I don't remember this being this bumpy, but this is pretty sick. Getting a lot of travel out of that Raptor suspension. All right. Now, in order to get to the ATV park, you'll want to go straight on here. The road splits three different ways. And I'm actually, this is going to be a really good spot for me to run the radar so I can kind of reveal a little bit more of the map. So let's see what we're working with here. Now, this actually circles back after it goes through the mud, and this turns into another trail. Now, one of the cool things about what you're about to see is when we get a little bit further down, a little bit closer to the trail, you'll see some of the signs. Now, custom signs are a big part of Dub's maps, and this one in particular, there's custom signs everywhere. So as you see up here, there's one sign that says river access and another sign that says rec trail only, which means if you see a picture of like something that looks like an H1 Hummer, that means it's going to be made for the full-size vehicles. And, you know, you'll see other signs a little bit further on that will say something along the lines of ATV trail only. Now, there is a task to build this bridge, but we're going to focus on that in a future video. And at the moment, I know this is going to be a little bit of a sketch thing to do, but trust me, it's fine. Don't worry about it. We're going to take a little bit of a shortcut to get to the ATV park. It's A-OK. -okay. It's fine. Yep, it's fine. Now, whether or not you want to do this is completely and totally up to you. I'm doing this for the sake of time and the sake of exploration. But let's see. Will that four-wheeler stay packed? It will. Yep. Ford Raptor Boat Edition. Let's go. Oh, come on. I will say sometimes it's a little bit sketchy because, you know, going through the river this way because we will be pulling against the river's current. So keep that in mind and, you know, get yourself something with a powerful winch. But if you're trying to get out to the ATV park, maybe either before you build a bridge or you just want to get familiarized with where everything is, this is definitely going to be the way to go. Now, easy does it. Come on. We're already in high mode on the suspension. So, and you can see right over there, there's the ATV trail only sign. And you can see the sign telling us that the ATV park is uh, coming up ahead. Well, there you go. Getting the trailer caught just a little bit, but not enough to where I'm super worried about it. This thing's got grip for days, especially with the um, with these, uh, these KOH spec trail grapplers. So let's push this tree out of the way. Once we're, once we're done with that, it should be pretty much a straight up run right to the ATV park. And remember guys, we're barely even scratching the surface of what this map has to offer in this video. So 
in by no means have you seen everything this map has to offer just by seeing this initial tour video there is so much more and you could spend hours upon hours upon hours exploring this map and i have spent hours upon hours exploring it in the pre-release builds and now in the release build there's even more there's even more out here to see and to do and to explore and experience so i recommend taking whatever vehicle you want and following whatever trail system you want and also you could definitely do that tour task as well to get your rank and your money boosted up a little bit right at the start so in case you want to use uh, some rank locked vehicles or rank locked parts that's going to handle that right off the bat all right let's see fee ride atv and rec park that's so sick bro that's amazing i love that i absolutely freaking love that all right so let's see we got a repair station, tour of the ATV map discovered. Uh, don't worry about the trailer. It's fine. It does that. It's fine. I said, I said not to worry about it. You're worried about it. I said not to worry about it. Hello all, this is a guided ATV slash UTV park tour. This will take you around the outer loop of the park. Now, if we go to the details, it starts here, and then the tour starts at the end of the mud park. So we're gonna, oh, well, I shouldn't say the mud park, but the mud pit. There's also a jumping rock, AKA a yeet ramp which is right, I believe, yeah, right there. And the yeet ramp, well, let's just say that it is, uh, it's designed for full sends. Now, before we finish up here, let's go ahead and get the ATV unpacked because I do want to show you guys how the ATV park starts out because we really wouldn't be doing this, this map justice without showing you guys why the ATV park was here. Now, as you can see, the tracks narrow down quite a bit once you leave the ATV park unloading area. And this is a dedicated, well, I shouldn't say a dedicated ATV mud pit. It's a general mud pit, general use. It's not restricted to just ATVs, but I would definitely recommend attempting to go through it with an ATV because that's probably where you're going to get the best experience as to what it's designed for. Now, this trail right here says ATV only, and then once you get into these trails, I highly recommend just throwing your rig into low or low plus and just enjoying the ride because at the end of the day, these trails are designed to be, you know, they're not designed to be insanely challenging, but they are designed to be very realistic and they're designed to allow you to really sit back, you know, come out here with some friends, sit back, throw some music on and just have a chill trail ride with some buddies. That is 100% what this map is designed for and it absolutely comes through on every last bit of that promise. Now, I will say, making sure that your ATV has snorkels is definitely important out here, whether you're in a side-by-side, -side, you know, or you're on a four-wheeler, or whatever the case may be, uh, it definitely helps. It helps a ton. Come on, find some traction, dude. Find some grip at that front end. Just a little bit. I'm sure I could get out of there without winching, but I wanted to, uh, I wanted to spend a little bit less time on just one obstacle, you know what I mean? Easing it up and over. And really the way he, not only the way he designed the trails, but the way he designed all of the scenery around them really does go a long way to making this map a lot more realistic and a lot more believable. Just a lot more realistic feeling. Bro, this thing just digs in. Freaking love that. I love the way it feels too. Like, you can tell that rigs like this were the benchmark for these ATV trails. And it really does show. I mean, and you can take, again, a four-wheeler, you can take a side-by-side, -side, you can take absolutely whatever you want down here, but man, Dubs' ATVs are definitely gonna give you a incredible, incredible experience. Now, as far as the initial tour goes, that's going to do it for this video. However, there are so many more things to explore on this map, and I cannot stress this enough. We have not yet scratched the surface of what this map can provide in terms of RP potential, exploration, and just having a good time going out on some trails. Now, if you all enjoyed this video, make sure to let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys next time. Talk to you all later, and I hope you guys enjoyed.